So with David's gamer driver, uh, first thing straight away was he's got plenty of club head speed, which is really good. Uh, averaging about 108, I think on average, 109. Uh, so really nice club head speed. The issue with it, with unfortunately with that club head speed, is trying to keep it in play. So the miss for David was more to the left. His miss hit is a little bit toey, so a little bit natural for it to be a little bit missing to the left uh, but so good distance uh, it's just the accuracy so we just need to keep that accuracy more uh, tight so we can hit more fairways so i built an m1 driver very similar to david's gamer driver um, results weren't too bad we were getting there just about um, we just needed to make a few more tweaks so i put together an m1 in the 460 made an adjustment to the lie angle to make it a bit more upright that was in a hope to defend against those slightly toey shots um, try and get those a bit more centered uh, we also put the weights nice and near the toe to again prevent so much gearing happening between that golf club and the golf ball uh, which turns that golf ball into a right to left spinner um, and then we put the weight on the back as well for again extra stability higher moi uh, which it helped it really helped it kept david's shots much more uh, consistent and straighter so his dispersion really tightened in really nicely uh, we kept the distance pretty much I think we sacrificed maybe a, a handful of yards but David didn't mind that because he's already got that distance in the locker so it was a really good way to keep the distance pretty much just with that tightened in dispersion I've never struggled with the distance um, I said to the fitter when we got here that I'd be happy to even lose a few yards if it meant me finding more fairways um, which we did I noticed that with the M1, with an identical toe strike that was hitting with my slider, I was actually picking up nine mile an hour more ball speed than what I was with my slider, which is a massive difference. It's potential of, instead of hitting a seven iron into a green, I'm hitting a nine iron or a wedge. So for me, that's a massive difference. The feel was dramatically different. Dramatic, it uh, feels a bit tinny, say, on the slider with off strike, with off center strikes. But with the M1, I was struggling to feel where my off center strikes were because it's pretty consistent feel throughout the goal face. Um, sometimes I was having to look at the club and I could see the impact mark to know that I'd hit it at the toe. It's set up as it is here, this is how we've left it, set it up right into the toe just to counteract some of the gear effect if I do hit that toe strike um, and we've put the weight at the back just to give me a little bit more launch.